kitten. You're so cute. It's me, Heza Chan, and today I'm back again with another Toriba unboxing video. I have three boxes to open with you guys today, so why don't we get started? We're going to start with the smallest box first. The first prize in this box is the Mama Shiba Kyodai tote bag. This is a very cute and sturdy tote bag. It's made out of canvas, and on top is a applique of the character, and it's done in like a really fuzzy material, so it's nice to like touch it. And on the back, you can see the Mamashiba Kyodai characters. This bag is definitely perfect for small little shopping trips. The next item in this box is another Mamashiba Kyodai tote bag. As you can see, I had to win this one because this one is my favorite character out of the Mamashiba Kyodai, and his name is Sasuke. It's a very soft, fuzzy applique. And on the back, like the other bag, it has the Mamashiba San Kyodai on the back, too. This one I'm definitely keeping for myself. As for the other one, well, I'll be listing that on my store envy shop. And the last item in this small box is a Shiba Inu toilet cover. As you may remember from my previous videos, I also won the matching towel and bath mat to go with the set. It says woof on the top and is so very, very cute. I am so happy to have gotten this in the mail finally as it is the missing piece to my bathroom decor in my downstairs bathroom. As requested, I wanted to show you guys my downstairs bathroom, which has the Shiba stuff that I've won from Toriwa. Sorry about the fan, I can't turn that off, it's automatic, so sorry about the loud rumbling noise. Hopefully the background music will cover it up. But as you can see, here's the mat that I won from Toriwa, the toilet cover. It is a bit loose, it's meant for like this fancy Japanese toilet seats. This is how it attaches. And then here's some cherry blossoms that I got from Daiso. There's the towel. And I got some cherry blossoms up here as well. And down here. So yeah, everything I love. And actually the idea for the cherry blossoms came from this wall sticker sheet that I got from Daiso that I still need to stick to the wall. So it's not 100% complete, but it's close. Moving on to the second box. So the first item we have in the second box is a realistic piece of meat. <laughs> I'm laughing because it is very realistic looking. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Korean barbecue, but this is supposed to be a short rib, otherwise known as kalbi in Korean. At first, I thought this was going to be a squishy or a keychain and that it would be way smaller, but really it's just a replica of the meat and on the back side it's just flat rubber. And it has a really strong chemical smell that will eventually go away as I have it sitting out on my desk. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at this. This is amazing. <laughs> I think that has to be one of the dumbest things I've ever won off of Toriba, but I like it anyway. Okay, the last item in this second box, I can already tell I'm really gonna like, and I hope you guys like it too. It's the last thing that was in this box. There was only two items in it. And it is Tokage from Sumiko Garashi. <laughs> okay. Ugh, I couldn't say that with a straight face. The way they have him packaged up is quite hilarious. It looks like we're gonna have to cut him out of his plastic prison. No wonder he was packaged like that. He's really big. I'm trying to fluff him up a bit so he retains his shape. You okay there, buddy? I would have to say this is probably the second largest prize I've won off of Toriba. It's very soft. It's made out of like a micro fleece. There's the back of him and his cute little tag. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you will know that Tokage or the lizard from Sumi Kogarashi is my favorite character. And he was actually pretty easy to win. He's so cute and cuddly. I love you. We are down to the last box. Starting with the smaller items first, we have a cute Shiba Inu plush. This is from the Sluggy Mofu friends again, but this is their spring collection and I just thought it was so cute because it has a little bee on its head. Here's a close up shot so you can see the little face on the bee. I love how they add those cute little paw print details. And there's that cute little curly tail. It's made out of a very soft fabric and there's also beans in its tummy. And in my personal opinion, I don't think you can ever have too many Shiba Inus. Next up 
is this bee bear plushie. This is from the same plush series as the previous one I just showed you. This one is a cute little bear in a bee costume. Got his cute little antennas and those wings. Cute little fuzzy tail. And there's that striped little belly. Cute and also beanbag-like tummy. Next up in this box is a school idol tray. And I know it's supposed to be an ashtray, but I'm definitely not gonna use it as one. I'm probably gonna use this for jewelry. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. I could definitely have it wrapped up nicely because I'm guessing it's made out of ceramic. Yes, it is ceramic. She's doing a Marilyn Monroe pose. And on the back, her underwear is actually showing, but I'm not gonna show you guys that. Her hairstyle and her uniform actually are reminding me of my favorite character from Kill la Kill. Doesn't she kind of look like Mako to you? Next up is this cute doggy squeaky toy. Now this toy isn't like a squeaky toy for dogs, it just happens to be a dog that is a squeaky toy, if that makes any sense. Here's what it looks like out of the plastic bag. It's a cute little girl playing with it showing that you can take the harness off of it, that there's other characters, and then this was the other one that you could win was a pug. But obviously, I went for this one, and I'm pretty sure this one's supposed to be a Shiba. Let's open it up. As you can see, it has this cute harness that's removable. <laughs> there's my favorite part, that curly tail. I'm sure you guys have seen videos of these on the internet. You probably have seen the cats and the rabbits and stuff. So when you squeeze them, they make this cute little squeaky sound and their tongue sticks out. I also have like a smaller version of this kind of toy and I got this from a white elephant party for Christmas last year. So let's have some fun. Like I said earlier, you're probably used to seeing videos like this on the internet. Well, here's another one. This thing is just too much fun. Next we have a giant Kiro plushie. Here is this cute lying down Kiro plushie. He's actually very soft. I thought he was gonna be made out of a cheaper material because I've seen other plushies like this that weren't so soft. They weren't made out of a nice material like this one is. So I'm very happy that he's high quality. Those big old ears that he has. And I love the wings and little fluffy tip on his tail. This is definitely the biggest Kiro plushie that I own. Next in this box, we have this cute Kori Lakuma gumball machine slash bank. This is where you would load the gumballs. And then the bottom here is where the coins go so you can take them out. And here's where you would put your quarter or other coins. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't matter what amount you put in here and then it distributes the gumball for you. So I went out and got some gumballs to test this machine out, and I also have different coins here to see if it accepts all kinds of coins to get the gumball out. So let's fill it up. First, we're gonna try this quarter. And I got a gumball. Next, we're gonna try this nickel. That one just kind of flew out of there. Next, we're gonna test out the dime. And last, the penny. Super adorable, and I love it. And the next item we have is this Kori Lakuma lamp. Ooh, it's one of those like crystal-like lamps that's made out of plastic. You can get a close up there and see the kind of texture. I won this with a free play ticket a long time ago on a ping pong dropper. Let me go grab some batteries and see how this thing looks. Like most of the other items that require batteries that I've gotten from Toriba, it requires triple A batteries. And this one takes three. All right, batteries are loaded. Let's see what it does. You can kind of see what it's doing, but let me kill the ring light real quick and let's get a better look. All right, now that the lights are killed, let's see what this thing does. Ooh, pretty. I love that it goes through a rainbow of colors. I 
I'm very happy with the kind of ambient lighting it gives off, so I can imagine this looking really cool at night when you're trying to go to bed. Another thing that I really like about this lamp is that all the pieces that make up the face and the belly and the paws are all plastic. We have four more items in this box. What could they be? We have a REM blanket from ReZero. I won this for a friend, but they said it was okay to open it up and show you guys on camera, so let's take a look at it. Wow, this blanket is way bigger than the Pop Team Epic ones that I unboxed with you guys in an earlier video. It is a really big size. I would say this probably would fit a twin bed. It's too big for me to even put the whole thing into frame. And the back is just a plain white. It's made out of a thin fleece-like material. It's very awesome and I hope my friend likes it. Next item we have is this Love Live Ruby figure. What the side of the box looks like other side that shows the figure. Very cute packaging. Again, this is a prize that I won for my friend, but they said it was okay to open it up, so let's do that. I'm not gonna put her on her base because I want my friend to be able to do that, but as you can see, the base looks like a beach and it comes with a couple of shells. Here's what she looks like. She's so cute. I love the pose. I love her uniform. Her expression's really cute and shy looking. And there's her feet. For a prize figure, this is very high quality and I really hope my friend enjoys it. Next up is another Love Live figure. This is Dia Kurosawa. Here's what the sides of the box looks like. Again, this is another prize that I won for my friend, but let's take a look at what she looks like. Again, I'm not going to put her on her base, but this is what it looks like and it comes with a shell and a crab. And here's what she looks like out of the box. I love the pose. I like that her hair is blowing in the wind. Nice uniform. And there's her feet too. Very cute expression on her face as well. Again, I really hope my friend enjoys this figure. And the last and final item in this box is a Pokemon Ditto blanket. You can already see the cute little face. This blanket is rather large. I would say that it would fit a twin bed. It also could cover you up from head to toe if you're a relatively shorter person like me. I'm about five foot five inches. It's made out of a nice fleece. It's kind of on the thinner side, but that's good in some cases so you won't burn up. It's so big I can't fit the whole thing on camera. And here are all the items that we have unboxed today. Well, that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!